Hello, welcome to this service of morning prayer for Wednesday the 22nd of April 2020. You will need a Bible for this service so that you can read various parts of it during the service and you'll also need your video remote so that you can pause the video uh, in order to make time for reading and for praying yourself. Let's begin by praying. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. In view of what St Paul says to the Colossians in today's reading about Christ being triumphant and exalted over all, the hymn Christ Triumphant seems a good way to start this service. Christ Triumphant The Psalms set for today are Psalms 16 and 30. I'm going to do them in reverse order. Uh, here's a metrical version of Psalm 30 to a well-known Russian folk tune. God the Lord, I bring my worship, I will praise your heart.
You might like to pause this video to read Psalm 16 by yourself. And the next part of Exodus is the Old Testament reading for today, chapter 16. Uh, if you didn't read the first part yesterday, please read it now. But the main part for today uh, is verses 11 to 36, the way that the people of Israel were fed by manna and quail in the wilderness. Please pause this video and read it now. Our New Testament reading today continues in Paul's letter to the Colossians. It's chapter 2, verses 1 to 15. Please pause this video and read it now. For me, the most important verse in that reading is the one uh, in chapter 2, verse 9. Christ, in Christ, the fullness of God lives in bodily form. How could God the Lord empty himself and become a human? It was a question that puzzled uh, Christian theologians of many years ago. And I'd like to bring you this reflection taken from one of those writings. Gregory of Nazianzus lived in the 4th century, uh, and here's a slide about his history, but the essential point is this. Apollinarius, who was a fellow bishop, believed that if Jesus was to be truly God, the divine mind in him must replace the human mind. Philosophically, he believed the divine power must preserve its impassibility, its changelessness and its untouchability by suffering. And verses 1 and 2 of the song try to summarise this point of view. And against this, Gregory of Nazianzus wrote a long passage in which is his famous quote, that which he has not assumed, he has not healed. That's to say, those things Jesus did not take on himself, he could not redeem. Uh, and that's the same principle as in Philippians 2 and also Hebrews chapter 2. Uh, and that forms the chorus and also the third verse of the song. How could God the Lord have a human mind? The unchanging word in a skull be confined. If God is the same all ages long, how was it he came in bodily form? Yet Jesus, you are God, come to dwell in full human form, to seek and to save us from hell. What you did not assume you could not save, to you took all our nature, freely gave new life to all who believe, and come to you to receive. How could God be God and a human too? Would this make him odd and his manhood untrue? For people must learn and change, feel pain, grow older and yearn, yet God stays the same. But Jesus, you are God, come to dwell in full human form, to seek and to save us from hell. What you did not assume, you could not save, so you took all our nature, freely gave new life to all who believe, and come to you to receive. For you laid aside all your majesty, and came to abide in our humanity. You humbly obeyed, as was foretold, our ransom you paid, to death you were sold. For Jesus, you are God, come to dwell in full human form, to seek and to save us from hell. What you did not assume you could not save, so you took all our nature, freely gave new life to all. Come to you to receive. 
Formally speaking, the ministry of the word concludes with the Benedictus. Please pause and read it now. And so let us turn to prayer, asking for God's help uh, by the way that the scriptures apply to our own lives. Heavenly Father, it says in Psalm 16 that I have set the Lord always before me. We pray that you would give us grace to live this day in the knowledge of your presence with us. Grant that we may not simply be thinking, but thinking with you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, in Exodus we read of your provision for the Israelites in the wilderness, feeding them with manna and quail on a regular basis. We ask that you would help us to trust you for your deliverance for us day by day. In these times of coronavirus, when the whole future of the world seems to be in doubt, and when many people are going through hardships, and when the threat of the future uh, looms large against each one of us. Help us to put our trust in you, and to find your serenity to deal with our trials. Help us not to generate Moses' anger against people like us, uh, by our actions which demonstrate our mistrust. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And we thank you uh, that Christ is in bodily form uh, your nature himself. We thank you that he is the head of us all. And we pray that you would give us wisdom and grace in leading our lives according to his will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, Jean, one of the older members of our congregation who went to live in a nursing home, uh, has died last weekend, I learned yesterday morning. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would help us uh, in paying honour and respect to those uh, who have died, for whom we cannot hold proper funeral services at the moment, but we ask that in due course their memorials would be fitting remembrances. Be close to the families and friends, we pray, and give us your comfort in these difficult times. You may have other things on your own mind to pray for. Please pause uh, and pray for them now. The Collect for today. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise for our justification. Grant us to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in praying as Jesus himself taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. We always uh, look for feedback and comments uh, and criticisms uh, and your reactions uh, to these services. Do please get in touch because we would like to improve what we do so that it will be helpful. May God be with you today as you walk with him. <laughs>